Good morning. Today I wanted to talk to you about trust because there's so much information coming to us these days from so many sources, particularly on COVID-19 and all kinds of other things. Um, and, and, the, and the whole notion behind this is that the more trusted the source, the more we should pay attention to it. Um, a number of years ago, maybe seven or eight years ago, I wrote a book called The Trusted Leader, and I did a lot of research on this whole concept of what exactly is trust. After doing all the research and pulling it together, I actually ended up coming out where Aristotle came out 2,500 years ago. So go figure. But it's, it, it, we call it the understanding the trust triangle because it is a triangle. So think of the base of the triangle as a character. Um, the source that you should believe in should have character. They should be innately honest. Uh, they should be consistent with what they say. They should deliver over and over again with a level of uniformity and consistency um, uh, and character that we've come to expect. So it's, again, it's things like, are they honest? Do they tell the truth regularly? Are they consistent? Um, do they have the courage to speak the truth, especially the power? Um, are they good communicators? That sort of basic, that's kind of the base of the triangle. The second piece of the triangle is competence. And that's both personal competence and professional competence. Personally, are they in control of their emotions? Are they, um, are, are they um, um, honest with themselves? Are they self-aware? Big part of that personal um, competency. Professional competency, are, do they know their profession, especially if they're speaking on their professions, if it's law, if it's medicine, do they really know medicine or law. They don't have to be the best doctor or lawyer in the group, but they have to be competent in their profession. So personal, uh, personal competence and professional competency, competence. And if this rings true with Dan Goldman's, you know, uh, emotional intelligence, it's, it's derived in part from that. So it's character, competence, both personal and professional. And then finally, caring. Does the person care for themselves? Do they have self-compassion? Do they let them, do they give themselves a break? Are they not too hard on them? And, and are they good with other people? Do they care about other people? Are they good in, good in inter, interpersonal relationships and that sort of thing? But do they express that caring on a regular basis? Not, not fawning in a fawning kind of way, but in, a, in an earnest and honest way. So character, competence, and caring. It's called the trust triangle because if one of those is very weak, the trust falls apart. So if you have somebody that, that whose character you really doubt, it doesn't matter how competent they might be or even how caring they might be or vice versa. Or any of these, you have to have all three of them together to make, to make trust work. And that's what we call the trust triangle. Um, I derived it after looking at many, many studies and then found out that that's exactly what Aristotle said. He used different words, but basically that's what he said. So it took me a, year, a couple of years of research to figure out what he had figured out 2,500 years ago. Anyway, that's trust. And in a time like this, a time of uncertainty, trust is very important. When you're getting information on the television, off the television or on the, off the internet, just make sure that you, you have those three bases covered. This is Steve Gladys wishing you well, especially during this difficult time. Take care.